And this leads us to an interesting aside. What is that? Semicolon. Semicolon, right. Who likes a semicolon? Yes, you do. Who else likes a semicolon? You know, do you like a yeah. English major? No. no? You sure? Okay. Mm -hmm. do, you, do you like English classes? No. Really? <laughs> well, you were the exception to the rule. Uh, essay writers generally like, really like semicolons. Because semicolons are fancy, right? They're fancy, they're cool, they're like, yeah, it's, right. Um, and you can probably get this with this, actually doesn't erase very well marker. Here's my advice on semicolons for this kind of writing, for report writing. I wouldn't use them. For grammar punctuation. Now, as we'll talk about if you ask me questions about complex lists, for a complex list, you have to use semicolons because there's no other way to make sense of a list. But if you are wanting to combine sentences, for example, here's what you are communicating if you use a semicolon. You're saying this, I could have put a period here. But no, I chose to make it more complicated than it needed to be. That's why I used a semicolon, because that's more than you're shaking your head, because that's you're like, hey, why couldn't you just use a period? Never mind the fact that most people use, not saying you, I'm saying most other people who use semicolons don't use them correctly because they get confused about what exactly the rules are. So, so my advice is um, if it is not the simplest thing you could do, and second, if it increases the chances that you're going to make a mistake, and third, if it means that at a minimum you have to think more, those are three good reasons to just keep it simple and use a period. So that's it. That's the one. So how's about this? Let's take a let's take a ten minute break.